What's up, everyone? It's your boy here, Abdul Rahim, back again with another great, amazing tech video. Well, first of all, I need to get a drink before I start this video. Snap. I know. It's just... Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Um, the video of today is actually all about the CES. If you don't know about CES, well, CES stands for... Consumers electronics is they're showing up their own kind of innovation which they've been creating or inventing in a couple of time. Now the things which I'll be covering them today on this video. So for further info, let us adjust the elephant in the room and let's get started. So yeah, so First thing which you're gonna see is a lot of computers. Now, computers we have seen it in a couple of years whereby they get a lot of improvement, Quai 7, Quai um, 5, Quai 3, dual core, cellular, a lot of bunch of processors, Intel and AMD, and a lot of a lot of them out there. So the main thing which we're gonna see is a lot of improvements when it comes to performance of processor. Now, another kind of stuff which you're gonna see, we're gonna see a bunch of graphics card now we've seen it a lot on nvidia since nvidia released their own kind of graphic card which it so it was so kind of amazing it's 1080 ti which was nvidia 1080 ti tegra something like that which went very viral last year and it went very great welcome guys this is nice organic juice <music> Another kind of stuff which you're gonna see on CES, it's cars. Now when it comes to cars, we have seen it a lot in auto cars, the cars which they can drive its own self. Now there'll be a lot of companies which they're gonna thrive on that. I mean BMW. Let's take a look about BMW. BMW last year came up with a concept electronic car, which it was so great, and a lot of we consumers saw it in a different kind of perspective and we liked it. And perhaps this year it will be more improved when it comes to electronic cars. We need a lot on Tesla. Now Tesla have been doing something which is so great and I give thumbs ups for the Tesla cars and I'm a fan on that. So I Another kind of stuff which you're gonna see on the CES it's smartphone. Now I mean there'll be a foldable phones now we expect a lot of foldable phones i mean samsung announced the foldable phones i mean xiaomi mi is coming up with the foldable phones i mean bunch of brands they'll be coming up with the foldable phones whereby it will be so great another kind of stuff which you don't know perhaps it might happen these are like expectation but jumping out to the conclusion there might be 50 up to 100 or 0 up to 10 actually 100 percent android we have used android in couple of years now we have adapted the android ecosystem up to today but did you know that google they're coming up with a new kind of os it's called fuchsia fuchsia os fuchsia os fuchsia os that name it's scary but um it's it's an operating system from google so we're expecting something like that on ces perhaps it may be introduced as as the new kind of operating system on android but i think it will be integrated with android same same stuff but it's only a change of a name i think something like that or a new kind of layout or a new kind of ui whereby perhaps android is ending on android 10 but those are my expectations on android so So another kind of stuff which you're gonna see on CES, it's a lot of smart home and smart speakers and a lot of new improvement on security when it comes to smart home. Now smart home has been great on a couple of years, I can say since we have seen it on Google Home, Google Home Mini, and we have seen it from Alexa, and we have seen a bunch of companies coming up with those kind of ecosystem, I can call them, on the smart home, and they are thriving it into a great kind of perspective whereby I give it go. So yeah. That's what's up. So we're going to see smart home and another kind of stuff. We're going to see television. Now television, we have seen it from LG. They're nailing it with the wallpaper TV, but we're going to expect a lot of OLED TV more comprehensive. Look at the wallpaper TV and you'll be shattered down like, whoa. So these are like improvements. I can say which are going to happen. So on CES 2019, we're going to expect what we're going to see is the Samsung tech, but a little bit improved of here and there. Another kind of stuff which you're going to see, it's a bunch of gadgets. I mean, a lot of gadgets. And another kind of stuff we're going to see, it's gaming. Now, forgetting about like 
saying don't be gaming anymore hmm who said so well gaming has been thriving for years and years like an example again give you we have seen it from xbox we have seen it from playstation giving out those kind of new look a new feel of game pads you see i have my game gamepad it's xbox now i love this gamepad because it sits very nice on my arsenal whenever i get tired i get bored i want to play a game i can just use my gamepad and it sweets everything on the go now in cs we're gonna see a little bit more changeable of gaming don't laugh at me this is an old gamepad but i love it i love it i painted it all by my own self why not? These are my updates on CES 2019, what we're going to expect from them and what we as a consumer is going to see. So yeah, that's what's up. So catch me on the highlights of CES 2019, catching up all the highlights, sharing with you guys, but I won't be going there since I'm living in Tanzania. All I can do is share with you guys what's in there with highlights. So thank you guys for watching. You love this video. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up and other kind of stuff. If you're new here, my name is Abdurrahim12 and another kind of stuff, if you didn't subscribe, make sure that you do subscribe. Make sure you show some love to your homeboy here. Yeah, that's what's up. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.